This is lesson one in a series of videos designed to teach you how to create iPhone apps in Windows using Dragonfire SDK. Assuming you have no programming experience prior to these videos, I'll be thorough and I'll even add a few basic C and C++ lessons as well. First off, if you don't have Microsoft Visual C++, you'll need to get that now. It's a free program and I've included a link in the description. Click Visual Studio 2008 Express, then click Free Download. Save the EXE and install the program. Now back to the SDK. Once you've installed Dragonfire SDK, you should see something similar to this. This is Dragonfire SDK version 1.3. Inside samples, you'll see a few sample folders. These are great to learn from, but in these lessons we're going to do everything from scratch. My first app is an empty project that we'll want to keep for later, so I'm going to copy this folder and name it Lesson 1. Inside Lesson 1, you'll find a VC Proj file. This will open in Visual Studio just like a doc or docx file opens in Word. Dragonfire SDK is designed to work with any version of Visual Studio, so this conversion wizard is just letting us know that the project was created with a previous version of Visual Studio. So we'll click Finish to let it update, and we don't need to see the conversion log. Now, if you go back and look at the Lesson 1 folder, it has a few more files. If you don't want to go through that conversion each time, you can save the Lesson 1 folder as MyFirstApp2008. Now, when we click the VCProj file, it'll open right up. On the left-hand side, you'll see a file tree. Inside Source Files is our CPP, which just stands for C++. This is the file that we'll be working with, so double-click it. This is basically a blank project. It loads one image and displays it on the screen. So to run the iPhone simulator, simply press F5 on your keyboard. Now you're set up with Dragonfire SDK and ready to start creating your first iPhone app in Windows.